Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 933. The topic today is going to be traveling, tra challenging, troubling, and educational. <laughs> I tried to put three words in once, didn't line up very well. Um, today's topic is actually about how do you find balance when you're an upset, when you can't even find, when you don't even know when. Let me try that one in English. Back it up a second. <laughs> how do you know? It's been a busy day. Oh, excuse me, I'll catch up on that in a moment. <laughs> hmm, maybe this is going to be a self-reflective talk. I'm going to talk about how, when you don't know where your center is, how can you be in balance when you're, excuse me, when you're an upset, how can you be in balance when you can't even find your center? Finally got it right. Read the title, it's pretty easy than me trying to explain it. So, <laughs> it's an interesting day today. Had some interesting opportunities for conversations about this stuff, so I'm going to bring it up today. So, hi, welcome to my broadcast. Um, these every day, I'll tell you about the back end, where you find the replays and everything else. I'm just going to dive right into the topic because it's a it's a relevant one and it's also relevant to me because I'm teaching this in, in three weeks and I'll invite you to join me at the back end of the broadcast. So what I mean by centeredness, balance and upset should be fairly straightforward, which is this. One, um, <laughs> stuff happens. <laughs> if you've been on the planet for more than a few weeks, you probably know that stuff happens. And you probably find that certain times that certain people, situations, circumstances, um, entities like government entities, police entities, stuff like that, I'm just being general to be specific, are, um, and put this in polite terms, triggering of your centeredness. And the thing is that most people, frankly, live in such a place of reactivity to life, ping pong you back and forward from one place to the other, that's not balance, that's a seesaw. And, uh, well, actually, a seesaw is a form of balance. Ban See, sort of like a balance, but except you never stay in balance because you're always going out of it. And that's the thing is, unless you know where your center is, you can't find your way back to balance because balance means having a sense of being able to be in stability in the middle of everything. At least the way I talk about it is. So to find your balance, you've got to be centered. I mean, it sounds so literal because it is. A balance point is the center point place based upon weight and distance. I remember my physics from a long time ago. Um, but it's a center point. And when you are centered, then when stuff happens, you get to choose how you want to respond versus being forced to react. And there's a big difference, by the way. So, and the reason, uh, and again, the reason I'm talking about this is because I'm, I'm actually um, downloading, pondering the, the curriculum for my masterclass that's launching in January. Again, I'll tell you about the link at the back end, but, the, but it's called BFF and the first B is balance. It's one so relevant to this right now. So a couple of instances, instances in my own experience was today, actually, um, having some interaction on a post that I posted yesterday, the day before, a certain individual who likes to provoke arguments was doing exactly that today. And I wasn't biting. So he went further and a couple other things to try and stir things up. And now I, I know better because I've done this for a long time, but every so often I still get triggered by things and react to things. And this is one of those things where I was on a choice point. I was absolutely centered. I was watching what was happening and I was thinking to myself, do I want to respond? Because that was a choice point. And that's the power of being centered and having balance. When you have balance and you're centered, then you get to choose how you want to respond. And that was exactly what I felt today. I really got to a point where normally I would have been like, I've got to defend my position and react and type everything out on Facebook and get into a big argument about stuff. And nobody wins. Well, he wins because he likes to create upset. <laughs> he likes to create um, conflict. And I know better now. Now, I'm not proud of what I was at the beginning of this conversation with him, like, you know, months ago, but now I'm getting clear about what's going on. So I choose not to be reactive and I bring myself back to center. And if you're not sure how to do that, I'll tell you about the, again, you know, I'll tell you about the invitation at the back end. But the thing about being centered, and I'll give you a couple of pointers, is that it's a, a place where you find yourself where you can be unreactive. And, uh, and I'm saying this from the point of view being not, I don't want to qualify that. Because when we're in reactionary mode, as I said, reaction versus response, we tend to be in a place where we don't have control. And we don't have control, you're actually at the mercy of somebody else. Yes, this is the, this is the, the mechanics of codependency, by the way. You may, if you're in a primary relationship or any sort of relationship with anybody else, and they do things that trigger you and you get triggered and you react, they, are t they have power of you because they're triggering you. It's not you being triggered, excuse me. You're not consciously aware that you're being triggered, but they're triggering you or giving you um, reason to react versus giving you something you look at and go, hmm, do I want to respond to that or not? And that shift, that understanding, that paradigm is a massive opportunity to change the way you react to life. 
As I said, codependency, I've said this in many talks, by the way, one of my passions, one of my missions is, is to reduce or eliminate or stamp out codependency on the planet. Yes, it's a big mission, I know, seven and a half billion people. It's taking a long time. But some of these things I come to are, are key teachings, and one of those is balance. Because when you come into balance and centeredness with who you are, and you remember who you are, then you're no longer under the control or the influence, maybe better word to use, of other people's upset. So my invitation to you is to look at places in your life where you've been triggered, upset, reactive, angry, and notice what started that. Not the other person. I don't want to get to the other person. I'm talking about you right now. Can you look at yourself and can you backtrack in that situation, that circumstance, especially if you do it more for more than one, and go back further and further and see where it started happening. What was the first thing that lit you up? What was the first thing that knocked you off center? What was the first thing that knocked you out of balance? Because the first process, first step towards this, as I've said in many of my different teachings, is awareness comes first. When you become aware that you're being reactive to somebody else's shenanigans, <laughs> whatever better word, then you find yourself realizing that maybe you don't want to do that. So, but it's the awareness first that gives you a chance to choose differently. So awareness comes before choice, just to be clear. And having that recognition that you can choose differently, once you have become aware of the situation going, hang on a second, I don't need to be an automatic pilot here. I can do something different, and I will do something different. In fact, I'm going to choose to walk away from a situation. Some relationships end this way for the health of the person leaving. Just to be clear. I'm not saying this is the only path to take, but it's one that can help you if you're in a situation where your partner never gives you the space to live your own life autonomously in the relationship. So finding the way back to your center, absolutely, fundamentally, is a pivotal place to learn how to take control. Actually, interesting pivot center yeah the, um, lots of words coming up that are tied to the same thing i will using some of these talks by the way to help write my script because this is becoming kind of core elements of what i'm teaching next month so understanding that you have this place to center yourself in and it and it, it may be a physical center place or you might like, might want to sit still and meditate it could be a mental place to center we can just breathe in and just bring yourself to your center of your heart center of your mind center of your awareness where you just basically breathe for 10 set 10 feet excuse me where you breathe 10 breaths slowly so you can come back to center it may be emotional where you simply put your hands over your heart and you come back to being present to yourself all those things are ways you can bring yourself back to center so three free tools there you go enjoy them <laughs> but the recognition i want to make sure you get is that you've got to be aware enough to catch that and then take a take an action from that choice when you do you'll be amazed to see how your life changes i've been there before in this experience not now it's more but for me it's just it's fine tuning a lot. I mean, some things do knock me sideways still, just to be transparent. But I'm much less triggered by these things that used to trigger me all the time. And if you join my course, you might find out someone that well, some of those were. <laughs> I might be more. I've been more self disclosing, disclosing, more disclosing in the in my BFF program masterclass. So, to back it up a second. So again, first thing, first step is awareness. Becoming aware is the first step to being free in all sorts of situations. In this area, come back to centers, you first will become aware that you're knocked off center by something, somebody, some entity, some environment, some structure, some emotional distress from somebody else, or some words that they say to you. Because those are things that tend to drag us up. In fact, if you're in a long-term relationship, or if you maybe want to look at your parents' relationship, you might see certain things that were said as almost like a repeat, like, here we go again type response. Because you can predict what's gonna happen based on what somebody says. If you're the person that's in the receiving end of that and you're not getting freedom, this is again for you. Remembering that you have choice. Excuse me. Becoming aware first, then remembering you have choice. I'm not sure preface is the right way. It means you can then choose differently. Choice is a powerful place to be because when you have choice, you can choose what to do, how to do it, or do nothing at all. And it's easy when you have choice. But awareness first, then choice, and then choose an action. And I recommend again, if you're not in a comfortable place, we can get back to center. These three things I mentioned, the simple tips you can do as a starting point to come back to center so you can be back in balance again. So slow, deep breaths, hand over your heart, closing your eyes for a second, counting to 10. These are all little tools you can use that can physically, mentally, emotionally bring you back into a centered place, aligned to who you are. And when you come back to that center, your ability to react diminishes, excuse me, what your requirement to react diminishes, is a better way of saying it, and your ability to respond increases. That, my friend, is a powerful form of freedom. And that's one reason why, I just realized I'm using the words from the course, 
let me just talk about that now so you know what I'm talking about. So the course I've got launching in January is called, it's called BFF, Balance, Freedom, and Flow. So I'm just talking about balance and freedom just now. But the reality is, this is a, a, these are tools for life. I mean, I talk about it as being three keys to finding fulfillment in your life. And if you're not feeling fulfilled, it's not about fulfilling yourself with a bank account or fulfilling, fulfilling yourself in a job. It's being fulfilled in who you are as a person. I recommend you check out my course. I'll put the link in the comments at the, back, at the end. So understanding that balance is a fundamental piece of learning to be in the place which is at center inside of you. So that what happens out there is not pulling you or pushing you or fighting you to be out off center. It's giving you freedom to decide what to do. It's giving you freedom to choose what you want to do. And my friend, if that's what you really are aiming for, then you're on the right path. And of course, if you want to do that, I can help you in this masterclass coming up in January. So there's one more piece I'm, I'm, I'm I, I am um, I sort of look, padding it out a bit because there's something else coming through that hasn't come through yet. I'm waiting to see if it drops in. So let me tell you a couple of things that are coming up so you know what's going on. If this other thought drops in, then I'll bring it in. So again, my, my BFF program, and there is, there is a play on words, by the way, because you know what BFF stands for in the modern era. That's one thing you'll discover through the, through the three-month journey is how much of a, a credible friend you are to yourself. That's part of the journey. That's not going to be advertised necessarily, but it's in, it's in between the lines. So BFF, which is Balance, Freedom and Flow for Fulfillment, is my upcoming masterclass in January. It's a three-month journey with lots of gifts and stuff, and you can read about it on the webpage. I finally got the page up and running yesterday. Um, there's an early bird special before Christmas. If you get in now, you'll save a huge amount. Yes, I'm giving you deals. Um, and there's also a bonus. You get a private call with me if you sign up by Christmas. If you sign up by New Year, you pay more, but you still get the free offer. But after New Year's, it goes up completely. So... Check out the page with the link in the comments, which is barryselby.com forward slash BFF. Balance, freedom, flow. The link will be in the comments. You can check it out as well. Um, the, other thing to, the other thing has dropped in here. Okay, we'll keep going. Um, also, as a reminder, because centering yourself in yourself and being in a place where you are in balance is a pivotal place to be. And I've talked about it so many times about my self-love meditation. Loving yourself is one of those fundamental tools that brings you back to center puts you back inside, it brings you into your own beingness, your own space and your own awareness so you can respond accordingly. So that'll also be in the comments too. So my self-love meditation and BFF course will be in the comments. In the comments. Check them both out, please, I recommend it. Let me see if the other thing's gonna come in now. It, it was all came out in a rush, I'm like, is there one more piece? Oh, yes. <laughs> the biggest one, I mentioned the, the first word I put, talked about in the, in the title, anger. This is going to be a short version of a much bigger, bigger teaching. Anger is one of these interesting things that is, for the majority of people, I'm going to be careful here, because for some people this is a thing they use as a weapon. But anger for most people is something that happens because they get pushed to a point where they can't handle or be centered again. So if anger is happening to, to you more than you want, that's a massive clue that maybe you want to shift your energy back to center, because actually... Because anger normally comes out of a few different circumstances. One of which is you feel like you're a victim. Secondly, where you feel like you're out of control, which is kind of the same thing. But when you feel like something's happening where you can't fix something or somebody's doing something that's really not working for you, anger is one of those choice points that happens. But like I said earlier, when you become aware, you can make a different choice. And so being, becoming aware of your anger, especially if it's coming up repeatedly in the same circumstance, is a massive clue to shift your whole awareness into going, hang on a second, this is the reason I keep getting angry. What is it about that that's making that happen for me? Can I choose differently? And that can set you on the path to a whole new place of being so you don't choose to react as much. I'm not saying anger is bad because anger can be a force for good when it's used constructively. But most people use anger destructively. Destructive of their relationships, destructive, destructive of their own um, autonomy, and destruction of their own emotional well-being. So... If anger is something you need to express, because sometimes it's like you can't fix something, you can't change something, and anger seems to be the only outlet, do something constructive with it. You know, I know for men it's like go and chop wood or something, something physical that exerts your energy to get the anger out. Ladies, you have things you can do too that can exert your energy to express and get the energy out, but it's constructive, not destructive. Again, that's a, that's a, that's a Cliff Notes version of a much deeper teaching, but understanding anger is a powerful way to get back to your freedom and get back to your balance. I think that covers it. So um, again, links will be in the comments to check out my BFF course and my self-love meditation because both of those will help you get started. Um, here's the thing I think I'll do because I just decided I'll do it now. If you do sign up for the BFF course, don't buy the self-love meditation because I'll be gifting it to you. 
there, there's a free, it's a bonus. There's another bonus that you can put on the web page. That's if you do it from this link, you go ahead and do it. So um, sign up for the BFF course, message me that you did get it, and I'll, and I'll send you the link to download the self-love meditation without having to pay for that. So there's a free bonus. I feel generous. It's, a nice, it's, it's holidays. What can I say? It's holidays. But again, you do want to sign up before Christmas to get the um, lowest entry fee possible because <laughs> I have three three tier price points. Um, so go on the page and look at it and check it out. Um, and if you are finding yourself challenged by this area of balance, absolutely you want to be in this course. It starts in January. So I think that's about it. Um, if there are any questions about this topic, please put it in the comments. I will respond when I sign off. Um, I mean, through in the replay, if you're watching it live, well, if you're watching it live, I would have seen the comments by now. Um, but let me tell you, you can find my replays if you haven't seen these before, because this is my daily Facebook live. I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page. Um, with the holidays, we'll see what happens. Things are, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, um, every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook, is where you find my live broadcasts, you can, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. If you go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby to author, please like my page. You can find the replays, excuse me, some of the replays are there. The majority of them, though, are on my YouTube channel because Facebook doesn't show them all. So we go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry, which is, sorry, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. You can subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine, where all of my broadcasts live. From newest to oldest, you can scan through or do keyword searches, find keywords that speak to you and get there's there's lots of content out there 930 broadcasts there's something for everybody <laughs> so if you want to get help message me check out the links i put in the comments and uh, do yourself a favor find ways to navigate back to your own center so you can be in balance and life can flow more easily it is that simple not always that easy but it is that simple and um, with that thank you for watching um i'll be back in tomorrow um probably the same time we'll see i've got a lot of social things going on tomorrow it's hanukkah tomorrow I should say it's the night before Hanukkah so yes so with that thank you for watching I'll see you again tomorrow take care of yourself as always and I'll see you again soon bye